This is the Kahuzi Biega National Park in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. For the last year, the forest has been the scene of conflict between wildlife rangers and members of the Pygmy ethnic group who claim the territory as their ancestral home. But the biggest victims of this conflict could be the endangered eastern lowland gorillas who also call this park their home. The pygmy people have been destroying the park through logging, coal production, saw milling and even mineral extraction. These activities are incompatible with conservation. They are activities which destroy the gorilla's natural habitat. The park rangers say that the pygmy people have illegally cleared 350 hectares of the forest and accuse other ethnic groups and regional authorities of turning a blind eye. Rising above the canopy, plumes of smoke signal one of the most problematic activities that the pygmy people engage in, the burning of trees to produce valuable coal. This not only pollutes the air, it destroys the gorilla's natural habitat, threatening the animal's survival. In a conflict which has seen three deaths since the beginning of the year, the rangers are keen to spread their message. I told them, these illegal activities in the park are over. Now they're supposed to pass on the message to all other groups that can be found in the national park. The pygmy people returned to the area in 2018 after being removed in the 1970s when the park was in expansion. But the park is at risk and finds itself on UNESCO's World Heritage in Danger list. They say that they were expelled from Kahuzi Biega National Park 48 years ago. They say that if the state does not end up giving them land, they will not leave this territory. Peace talks are underway to put an end to the conflict, with participants engaging in a tricky balancing act of ensuring that the rights of the pygmy people are respected, while the natural habitat of prized local wildlife is left intact.